What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be featuring a new company on this channel. Yes, it's not a new company in general, but it is a new tattoo company that I will be featuring on this channel. I've never talked about this before, but I have been very interested in this company for a very, very long time. Now when I started to tattoo around six years ago, my choices for buying machines were between Dragonhawk, Solong I think, and if I'm not mistaken, Hummingbird and maybe even some Dragonfly stuff. Well, Hummingbird is finally being featured here. And yeah, the Bronx series came out almost the same time as Mast. And yeah, we're gonna finally take a look and review one of their products. So the very, very first Bronx review will be on this machine right here. The Bronx V1 Wireless. It is their first wireless machine and let me just say guys, they really planned this out properly and here's the reason why. Take a look. Alright, so here is the box, a really nice looking box of the Bronk V1. Let's take a look at it. Bronk, 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 and of course the machine picture and underneath nothing. But it is a heavy box, meaning it has a lot inside it. Hold on. Let's see. Here's the warranty card, I think. Yep, the warranty card and an instruction manual type thing. Basically giving you a rundown on what can be done on this machine. Oh look, it has like a, it's like convertible or something. All right, let's take a look at what's inside. Nice, they give you a nice little warranty card. Don't throw this thing away. Foam, a lot of foam. And here's the machine. This is actually quite rare. I never receive or unbox the machine with like tape here on the screen. There you go, nice and clean. I love ripping this stuff off by the way. And here it is, they gave me a black with a green. I know they have other colors like silver. I'm not sure on the others. I know there's a silver and the green. Let's take a look at what else is in here. But yeah, let's take a quick look at this before we take a look. What else is in there? Nice Bronk logo right here. Nice matte finish. Yeah. Really nice, sleek looking design. Simple, nothing fancy. It's just a straight cylindrical shape. Very nice. <clears throat> More foam. Lots of foam in this thing, man. Oh, they want the protected package, I guess. Here we go, what's in here? RCA converter head, two batteries, one battery charger, and data line. What is that? Anyway, let's take a look. Okay, here are the batteries. 2000 milliampere batteries. Hell yeah, that means it, it runs like um, the mass archer. You know, I'm hoping it runs for around 12 to 15 hours, and there's two of them? That's insane. Spare rubber bands. Here's a charging dock thing. Not, a, not too fancy on this charging thing. I hope this thing lights up and like indicates how much is, um, how much battery is being charged. You know, like how much percentage, or like how many bars, right? <clears throat> And here is the charger, I think for this thing. That's what they call the data line. All right. Oh, and the converter head thing. I think there's a thing that you use um, like in the Mass Noir, I guess, where you can change the machine into an RCA powered machine. Awesome. Now they did not send a RCA cable with this because I'm pretty sure it's really marketed as a wireless pen and the RCA functionality is like a bonus and they probably assume you already have a ton of RCAs. Alright, now let's clean up uh, the stuff first. Uh, I'll just put the stuff aside before like, I package it properly. Put all this foam and all of this stuff and probably a charger. This thing and this thing. Alright. Oh, 
And they also give you a pack of cartridges, 20 pieces. If you use promo code right here, use that code. All right, now let's get down to the machine. Let's put a battery on and pop it. Like you unscrew the top part. Really nice uh, metal like topper thing here. It has like texture so you can grip on it. Here's what the inside looks like. Clean, really clean looking. There's no like exposed hollowness here. There's, what do you call it? Like you don't see the circuit board, only there. But that's for the screen. But you don't see any like wi exposed wiring here. They kind of created like a housing for the battery, which I really like. All right, let's pop it in. Positive down and get this thing. Let's power it up. And there we go. Nice little screen that indicates how much battery is left on the top left corner how many minutes running on the top right and the fixed voltage you can adjust it by 0.1 by the way there we go oops that's a power let's put it at like seven volts all right really nice screen i like that it displays everything it doesn't cycle through stuff it's just all there in that one little area and the fact that it's that small might be good and might be bad because some people have a hard time seeing especially a lot of tattoo artists develop like really bad vision after tattooing for many years but it's a minor thing and i like that the voltage number is big all right now let's try and remove the battery and put in this little thing right here so it's simple you just turn the whole top portion and it pops off and now we put this thing Oops. and there you go you have a nice little short pen that is awesome that's so cool it's, a lot of people like short pen machines by the way and you know if you if ever there's a time where in your two 2000 milliampere batteries are not charged because you forgot to charge them then you can use an emergency RCA adapter thing and you can use your power supply that's what it's used for now let's get down to the specs while i change it back to the wireless because that's how i prefer using this machine now the specs it has a 3.5 millimeter stroke which is the standard versatile stroke for all wireless pen types yeah a lot of those wireless pen types have 3.5 millimeter strokes you have a depth adjuster, which by the way, feels really good. And it's not the type that you have to turn and turn and turn a long time. It's just a few turns and it's already adjusted properly. Uh, it has, I think, a two millimeter to four millimeter depth adjuster. Might be wrong, it might be zero to four, like the typical, I'm probably wrong. It's zero to four millimeters. And yeah, really nice sounding when you click. It is a well-built machine, guys. It is absolutely a beautiful machine and it performs just as good once you try it out. Other than the specs, I can just say that I like the cylindrical shape because you can just easily slide a pen back through and there you go. It's a sanitized pen. <laughs> the fact that it comes with two batteries that are 2000 milliampere batteries, by the way, means that this machine in theory should run from 12 to 15 hours because it has the same battery used in the mass archer that i've already talked about in the past many times and you have two of those so like 24 to 30 hours of tattooing that's insane you could like not charge the machine and still be able to tattoo maybe two or three tattoos like big pieces too and with just one battery charge and then you can just charge it for like I think two hours or three hours normally when you have those like battery pack things those things don't really charge fast which is the only drawback with these like replaceable battery machines like this but still three hours charging for 30 hours of that doing I'll take that any day all right let's run the machine so that we know what it sounds like 
very low sound machine like also there's very minimal vibration and imagine it with like grip tape on it you can barely feel it vibrate nice awesome now my one thing that I would like changed about this machine would be the grip like I pref I mean the grip is fine really nice clean grip but I kind of want a grip that narrows a little bit so that it's a little bit easier to hold than a chunky one like this now I do like 50 millimeter grips I'm a weird dude like I like 50 millimeter grips but when it's like a pen body like this I kind of like it with a more streamlined or narrowing um, design so that it just feels a little bit more comfortable like I'm using a marker I guess but yeah that's that's basically my only complaint about this machine which is very minimal now let's see this machine in action right now so for the demo of the Bronx V1 wireless, I have two tattoos to show you guys. This one is a fusion tattoo of black and gray with line art with dot work stuff using a 5 round magnum and a 3RL needle. Uh, so there are there's some real time footage for the smaller tattoo which is this one wherein you can see the lining and some shading but I also prepared a bigger tattoo to test out the battery life and if there were any issues with a longer session because you know how sometimes when machines get hot uh, it starts to fluctuate and starts to mess around but with this machine it did not do anything like that and I can say that I personally liked how this machine performed with its 3.5 millimeter stroke for shading it built the black nicely and it also packed it fairly quickly but you know it's not as quick as a 4.0 but still it's a good machine for what I'm doing right now which is black and gray Alright, now for the lining, I did only use a 3RL. I have not tested this machine out with a bigger needle configuration, nor have I used it on power lining. But from what I have lined with it using the 3RL, it's crispy clean. I like the lining of this machine at 3RL. Though, like I said, haven't tested it on bigger needle groups. The second tattoo is much bigger than the first one and it is done on the chest and partially the neck. Now we weren't able to complete the tattoo due to my client's schedule but I basically made or included this tattoo on this video just to show that 
the machine can perform long sessions there's no fluctuations i have no issue with the machine and here you can just watch the rest of the time lapse if you want to to see how this tattoo turned out although it is not yet 100 percent complete because the upper portion of the tattoo has yet to be shaded all right do check it out though Alright, so now that you know about the specs and seen the demo on it, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Here is my personal opinion on it and pretty much my final verdict on it until I use it for more future tattoos. But for now, I have to say, the Bronx V1 wireless is probably the best value for money wireless pen out there right now. Now, the reason why is it's, it's only $158, which is insanely cheap now it is cheap because it is on sale on their website uh, just for good transparency with you guys they are releasing a new pen the v2 version of this pen which has a few upgraded features but with the way this v1 is running it is a very very good pen if you're looking for something to start off with like an introductory tattoo machine for you in the pen type series this might be good for you so, $158, that is insanely good. And with every purchase, if you use this code, you get like a sample pack of, I think, 20 cartridges, which is a value of around maybe $15 to $16. So, why not? All right, guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to hit that like, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see on this channel. Yeah. Also in the comments, do let me know what you want to see next, what other companies you want featured. Maybe we can get them to appear on the channel. Alright guys, that's it for this. Later.